Hello, it's so good to see you. We are here today again with a, another pastel tutorial and um, today we're going to do this lovely painting that I did, oh gosh, a couple of years ago I think. Um, beautiful simple little painting of daisies and I thought it might come out nice as a pastel so um, we'll go through a little step by step of how to achieve that today. First of all, we have a pastel ground that has a nice bit of tooth to it. You can buy um, pastel paper like this from any art supply store and it's really lovely to work on. It's a little bit dearer than the books of paper but um, well worth it. So first of all, I have misplaced I think my um, masking tape so I'm just taking most of the sticky out I don't know if you can see that there's all little particles there from clothes and that's taken most of the sticky off the tape I'm just going to carefully line that up with the edge of the black, stick it down and because I've taken most of the sticky off this tape it'll still work but um, ideally you want to use um, some masking tape that will not tear your paper at all when you go to remove it. And that will hold your paper still and keep your edges clean. So when you pull it off you'll have a, a lovely neat painting with enough space around it to frame it if you wish. have a nice firm press down on the on the edge there otherwise the um, the pasta will come out come underneath it and it won't work so well Okay, so we have a a few colours here. Have a warm pinky colour. I'll just get my get in my paper towel. Don't forget your trusty baby wipes and paper towel for cleaning your hands and pastels with. have a nice dark pink colour, a light pink, a bright orange, sort of a, a burnt orange, a bright yellow, bright green, A light phthalo blue, a dark phthalo blue. Let's pop this all up so I can so you can see what I'm doing here. A dark phthalo green. A pure titanium white and a black and that should be enough to complete this painting okay so we're going to begin
by just um, sketching in. I think we'll do that with, with our white. So we've got one, two, three, four, five daisies and some sort of hints of one ones off in the background. So up in the top corner here. One coming at this kind of shape. One around about here with some petals coming out. Pushing off into the facing the other way. Got this one facing off to the my right. So these petals here are sort of much shorter, getting longer as they come, that we're seeing more of them. And one here that's sort of starting to wilt and finish its days. here, up here, and back here. And leaves, we have one coming up here. We have a stem. We have a stem off this one and here. of a leaf over here with a nice big one coming out from behind here another nice leaf coming down I think we've got our flowers a little bit bigger than the original the stem for this guy comes up behind that breeze is lovely. This one will follow down. Another nice leaf coming in here. So sometimes we can get a little bit confusing in the beginning, but a bit of a leaf coming down here. So this will be what I would call my bones. Always talk about getting the bones of your painting in. This is it um, for me. So it's basically just looking at what are the main shapes in your picture and getting them down on your canvas or your paper first. So I think next we might pop some background in so we can get some space happening. We're going to pick up our light pink. And just loosely and lightly get that into where we want it. Matter if you go over some of your lines, just 
used to be a lovely sort of quick fresh little painting um, if we fiddle with it too much or, um, or fuss too much it'll lose that freshness and um, it won't get the result we want very sort of quickly and intuitively yeah. so got most of that in where we want it now this painting today we're not going to be rubbing at all get the darker pink first and get some of that background a bit more interesting first. Gently, very lightly, feather touch, brushing that over the pinks that we've already put down here. Then we're blending those with the black and just making a, a darker tone come through this side and give us a bit of a light source. A bit of variety in the background. You can see I am going over some of the pre-drawing that I did. Don't worry about that. Like I said, we just don't want to get too fussy with anything just yet. Um, actually at all today. So we keep everything lovely and lively and fresh. Put a little bit of white up here. Wrapper off here. It's just going to bring a little bit more light up here. I'm just going to blend that light in with the pink. lighter tone. Come back in with the darker pink and go over some of that black. That makes that lovely dark purple colour now. It's being really random in my directions as well, so that I don't um, end up with them all going the same direction because it just, again, it just makes it a bit more interesting to look at. The, the thalo green we'll get that little bit in I'm just going to use the side of it and go sort of wiggle 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 down like this and then the other side of the leaf same thing again a little bit of a 
lacking back there. Kind of moved that guy over when I was doing that before. But I do I do like this composition anyway. So we'll go with it. This one here with a bit of a, a hint of a leaf. sort of just just strokes to suggest leaves and stems back there and we'll pop this leaf in and just sort of wiggle wiggle okay so we're coming in behind this flower here and again just with the wiggle wiggle Make that sort of serrated leaf shape. And down behind here and going off the edge of the page. And then this one here. Okay, looks very messy, but I'm happy with that. Now with the lighter green, I'm just going to pop this one more little bit in there. And this guy up here. Okay, so just a couple of little strokes there to, again, like I said, um, just represents some leaves off in the background and um, some stems and things where they might be going. We'll be taking our yellow green, coming to the middle here. And see when I make that same kind of motion with this. Just sort of blending with the outer green. I'm getting a variety of tone in those leaves. using the pastel itself to blend with what's under it. Okay, pretty happy with that. Now some yellow. Again, that'll be blending with a bit more curve in that guy. Highlight on this one. Just a just a hint of some colour here and there, with a bit of light coming in on these leaves and things. I'd like this leaf to be a little bit broader. Come down. The middle of these with my phthalo green and a little bit more substance and then again we can just sort of with a feather touch just give these a little bit more blending So 
back thigh leg green again. Some real substance going in these leaves. And varieties in shape and size and texture. Love that it's just so easy to do with these. Pretty happy there. Right, now for our beautiful flowers with a, a fairly firm touch. I pop these leaves right on in. See, now that's mixing a little bit with the colours underneath. This time we don't want quite as much of that. So after every sort of couple of strokes, I mean, a little bit of that happening will be good, but um, not too much. So after every couple of strokes, I'm just going to give it a little wipe with my paper towel and just get that back to nice pure white. from behind showing through there. This big fella. Down to this one. Doesn't matter yet that we're um, picking up a fair bit of the green on this one. The beauty of this kind of paper too is that it has a load of tooth. We can afford to get a little bit heavier. Now because I've got my paper tin um, taped down, I can't pick it up and shake it off. 
Ideally, I like to work um, work on a um, easel. That's okay for today. So I'm going to take some of this um, light phthalo blue, touch a couple of little spots on the, on the petals. Just to get a little bit of um, variation in tone. We've got quite a lot more blue on this guy down here. Older flower and he's a bit more in the shade. It's working from the inside out. with that. Now, even though this can be very forgiving, I still don't want to completely lose my tooth. So I'm going to bring a little bit of dark, darker shade into these flowers here. Get some dark blue on the tips of these leaves and up around the base. Okay, let's get some middles on these flowers. So we've got this darker blue. I just sort of finished up going around some of these slightly darker areas. I'll pop a little bit in here. I think that's definition on some of those petals. Okay, so the darker um, sort of burnt orange. Just a very light touch, just get some nice centers going on these flowers. So there's just the three there that we can actually see the centre of. We'll bring a brighter orange into it. Not to be overdone. Some yellow. Sort of scruff it around there a little bit. Keeping sort of keeping in mind that our light's sort of coming from this direction over here. So what we do to one flower we want to do to the other, so keeping our light sort of up on that top side. Okay, now that we've got those bits of blue onto these petals a little bit, we can come back in and blend some of that darker blue and just tone it down a little bit. It's a bit strong. But we're also going to come in with some white
just get some some nicer edges and a bit more definition going on these so they really stand out as being the the center of focus It's picking up some of the colour underneath. Just sort of picking up on the, the kind of frontmost petals on this, and leaving the other ones sort of further in the back. By going over these, we're blending those colours a little bit without losing that freshness. Okay, I'm going to pick up my dark phthalo blue again. Just get a little bit of more depth and shape onto these little flowers. I don't want this one to be somewhere in between. The phthalo blue is in there, but it's not as um, prominent as that. I'm just going to, again, feather touch. Now just very, very lightly going over, over that with the lighter blue. Light phthalo. Um, it just softens it down. It still keeps that fresh fresh pasta look okay I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of a bit more touching in the background. Tidying up. Find the 
shape of those leaves a little bit more. Deepen that shade area a bit back there. Let the colour go all the way in behind. pink back in here. up some of the greens again. I'll just bring that in a little bit. So back with the dark phthalo green. Create just a little bit more of a, a shadowed effect on the top side, on the, the dark side of that leaf. That one there. shade and contrast in here. Again feather touch and same within here. Put that green on top of that red then being uh, that sort of dark pink then being um, opposite on the colour wheel. I really just work to make each other darker. Nice and shaded in there but still still bright and fresh and okay now these couple of little hints of flowers that we had. Just touches but nothing too defined. gentle touch over the top of that we'll push it right back into the background touch of yellow for brightness over here
plenty of contrast between that leaf and the, and the flower that's over it. I'm just going to give this a really gentle touch with the white. Find these petals a little more. Just add a little bit more white on the on the top bright side. And tidy this guy up a little bit. Up here. A little bit of shadow on the back side there. This one. Last thing I want to tidy up just a little bit is where these meet the, uh, the flower. trick is to know when to stop. I think that's right about now. Perfect. A signature. well done. I hope you enjoyed today's pastel. Um, I really enjoyed painting this one. I, um, I love daisies. They're so bright and happy and joyful and um, you just can't beat them. So here's the finished artwork. Just taped it up on my wall so that we can have a nice look at it. And um, once again, please like, share, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you for another pastel artwork next Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.